Now, I love this fish. A flounder. Actually, when I was a kid in New Zealand, we had flounders all the time, but we also had lemon sole, which was, I think, even better, if that's possible. You never see those. Well, you never see them in Australia anyway. First of all, we cut the sort of a diamond pattern then, which opens it up a bit and it makes it cook evenly. I just made that up. I was quite impressed with it. <laughs> no, I didn't. True story. Now, a little bit of olive oil. I'm going to add a little bit of butter. I'll add more butter later. I've also got some potatoes on. That's the noise in the background. So just the, the dark side down first. Now, you don't skin it. Um, my old chef used to skin it, but I don't believe you should. I think the skin's really nice, as long as you make sure that you seal it a bit. Give it a bit of colour or, I suppose, crisp it up a little. Now, of course you can cut the fins and things off if you want to. I don't ever bother. Right, now the oven's about 200 degrees and we're going to plop it in there. I reckon 10 minutes, maybe 12. Now, the way to check it is you just get your little knife and you just cut back one of those diamond shapes and you'll see. You see what I mean about checking? Now, just have a look here. Now that's beautiful because that's still a little opaque. You don't ever cook fish until it's dead and gone because it keeps cooking once you've taken it off the heat source. And then what we do, grab a bit more butter, some capers which I've drained and rinsed, some lemon. Now you can have some parsley in it if you like as well. With the potatoes which I've got just here, I'm just going to serve them au naturel. And the reason being is because there's obviously a lot of butter on the fish. So you don't put butter on the potatoes as well, do you? And what we need with it, Riesling, which will be perfect for this. King of Clare, I can promise you, it'll taste delicious. <laughs>